And today I'm just going to show you guys a couple things. This is like uh, the last year or so, my biggest sort of epiphany with guard passing has been this idea of trying to really just pin the hip without having to really use anything. Um, as far as like, you know, controlling, like getting low or hugging or using grips for the gi. The nice thing about what I'm going to show you guys is that you don't really need any grips. So if you have a gi on, totally cool. Um, we can use some of the setups that we're going to use to bug the neck here. You can make like a loop choke. We'll do a few things with the gi, little variations, but you don't need a gi. Um, this has single-handedly for me really changed the way I pass and it's also really good um, if you're a leg lock, you know, person or there's other people that you train with that are really into leg locks and entanglements and ashi and all this stuff because what I'm going to show you guys kills a lot of that stuff for when people are sitting on their butt, okay? Um, so we're just going to start with a little thing here, Stephen, can we you, man? We just, um, just go ahead and sit on your butt for me, okay? So we're going to talk about setups and stepping and angle and stuff, but literally, like, just a minute here, I want you guys to just sort of conceptualize this, okay? So all you guys are going to do is step, like, stagger your stance a little bit and you're going to take the, the leg that's trailing here and you're just going to step on your partner's thigh above their knee. Don't step on their knee, obviously, that's not very nice, okay? So you're just literally going to do this and you're going to pin them, okay? I'm a little sticky with my hook here. I don't have to be like completely like spider guard style. I'm just kind of leaning most, the, the most of my weight distribution here is toward the side I'm stepping on, okay? And for my partner, I just want them to try to just kind of try to move the hip back the other way and observe how it's super annoying, okay? Exactly, you really have to like throw me off you to move your hip, okay? So one more time, all you guys are gonna do, just turn a little bit, we'll do a couple different angles, okay? So all you guys are gonna do is one step, two, drop, okay? And then just keep a little bit more of the weight on this side than the other, okay? And have your partner just move a little bit. And you just kind of move with them, okay? Move with them, yeah, super annoying. See, he really has to like kind of really move, all right? And obviously we're not gonna stay in that position for very long, and we're gonna start to talk about reactions, and what happens, okay? Does that make sense to you guys? I'm sorry if I'm rushing, I just, I'm a little behind and I wanna show you guys as much as possible, okay? So please grab a partner, we're just gonna go about a minute and I'll bring you guys back in, okay? Look, one thing that will happen though, is if you guys don't have enough weight on that side, you're, you'll feel like you're kind of like really trying to balance on that one foot. So before you go, think about really kind of almost like driving the weight to that side. You feel how majority of my weight is on that on that hip? And now that hip is kind of pinned and there's gonna be no inversion, there's gonna be no that side, okay? Make sense? I don't clap, that shit's stupid. You grab a partner, go. This will not work if my partner's laying on their back, okay? If he's down, lay down please. It will work, but it's gonna be like way, way different, okay? So this is when my partner stand, sits up, okay? Maybe they're going for like my leg or single leg X, or they're trying, exactly, or they're trying to come up on a single. So he's on his back, he sits up, step, flat, okay? Let's go please, go. Switch if you have it. Okay guys, very good. Everyone feeling good? Pretty easy idea. Okay, come on back, please. Okay. Alright. So again, this is really, this came, just, just so you guys have a little bit of the sort of backstory on this before we get into more of like the sort of technical part. This came out of this idea that, and actually something that Christian had showed me years ago at a camp, where a lot of this hip forward passing, which I really like. So when I step in, just put your feet on my hips. Okay, or yeah, just lay back. So we're gonna, sorry, I'm switching up. Okay, like this kind of thing, right? Where I'm really leading with my hips, which I, I really like, and I passed that way for years and years, and I still pass that way if you let me, okay? But the reaction to this idea for me is a lot of people starting to push me back and sit up. So I'm like, oh, all right, I guess I can try to just blast through his legs, but it's, number one, it's a little more kinky, okay? And if you don't know the guy well, right? You're like, ended up in a really awkward situation. But it's also the kind of thing where it doesn't really work. I haven't gotten past that line of the legs, right? And like Chris was saying in his class, a lot about this sort of idea of following and tracking, right? I'm not really doing a great job of being able to kind of change that angle, okay? So this came out of that, really. He sits up and I just make his hip kind of get pinned to one side, all right? Now I know a lot of you guys are like, well this is weird and I'm kind of like off balance. I'm only here for a split second, okay? <laughs> I just wanted you guys to observe that by pinning the hip to one side here, I've really limited the mobility and when we're working guard, what's a lot of this about? It's about this ability to move with the person, 
kind of follow them, set our positions up, move our hips, right? Everything kind of comes from that hip position, and it's really hard to move your hips if I'm pinning one side, okay? Is that, are you guys all, everyone following where I'm going? Okay, all right, so I'm gonna get right into it. This is the most basic form of this thing that I've, I've sort of to work on, okay? Now this may not work against a higher level opponent, or once I do this to somebody a couple times, they're, they're probably gonna bring their leg up, react, we'll talk about that, okay? But for now, it's just gonna look like this, okay? So the way I usually will set this up now is with a little bit of, of kind of distraction here, okay? It's like um, he's a baby and he's crying and I wanna jingle like some keys in front of him, okay? Or something shiny. Okay? So I'm just trying to take sort of his mind off of this idea that I'm trying to get around his leg, okay? So if you have a gi on, for the few folks that have their gi on, okay? When you step, lower your level a little bit, almost like you'd be wrestling, okay? So I'm coming in kind of with like a good posture here. And I'm going to just go for the neck. It could be a guillotine for the nogi guys, right? It could be just kind of like this kind of thing. You're just kind of messing with the neck a little bit. I'm getting, this is really the same kind of thing in wrestling where you're trying to get the arms up, okay? So I'm kind of playing with this grip idea. If it's a gi, maybe I'll make a gi grip, like I'm going for a loop choke or something, and just to kind of get the hands to come up a little bit and just momentarily get my partner to be distracted, okay? So you guys are going to step, bug the neck a little bit. As soon as you feel your partner's hands come up, all right, all you're going to do is step like we did and just follow the floor, okay? It really looks stupid, but you'd be surprised how many people I can do this to, okay? You may not end up in a perfect mount every time. You may end up in a half guard or something. We'll talk about all those little things, but for now it's just one step. Okay, you guys see this is the sort of same hip position that I just talked about a moment ago where I'm really driving with my hips. My hips are really forward, so I'm not just thudding on my knees. I'm staying low, I'm hips forward, and I'm just kind of sliding into the mount, okay? For guys that are like old school MMA fans, any of you guys, all right? This is like a Pride 2001, like Ricardo Rona, where he's like, this kind of thing, you know? No, all right. <laughs> anyway, then don't worry about it. We're here, step, good base. Just bug the neck, it's just a little quick distraction. I go boom, fall, okay? I don't care if I land a little high on him, I can always slide down. If I land a little too low, I can always get my head control. It doesn't have to look pretty, and it really doesn't have to matter where I land relative to him, okay? So one more time, you guys are playing here. He sits up, one, fall, okay? You guys notice the last piece of this was that bulk of my weight here is on the top of my feet, so my knees aren't really driving hitting the mat hard. It's a really easy just, almost like a break fall on the top of my feet, like a Seonagi or something, okay? Bug the neck a little bit, bug the shoulders a little bit, whatever it is, one, fall, okay? Put your hands on the back. Grab a partner, please, go. All right, guys, excellent. Come on back, please. A couple little details before we move on, okay? And again, if I'm going too fast, please tell me. Okay? So what I, what my observation is with a lot of people when you start doing this, and I did it too, right? When you, when you start kind of playing with this idea, there's always a little bit of a hesitation, right? So, for example, when I step on Stefan here, I'm, there's always like a little second before I start to drive my hips forward, okay, when I first start doing this. And now this gives him time to react. Now, again, I'm still probably in a good position if he goes under my leg or whatever. At the end of the world, but I just, yeah, exactly. I want to end up kind of. So let's do the same move for a couple more minutes, but what I want you guys to think about is staying a little lower and staying a lot more forward with your hips, okay? So when you move here, and again, you could just step on your partner from here, and I do that sometimes because now everyone in my gym at least knows that I do this, and it's, it's actually pretty funny because, like, I do this, and people sometimes just freak out, like, and then I just go around this guard, you know, like, you don't even have to do it. It's like mind control stuff. But now, Stay a little lower when you enter, and it's just a quick boom, like mess with the neck, just a quick like pop. Like you don't have to invest too much in this like, you know, guillotine grip or whatever, I don't care, you can do it any way you want, okay? Just kind of just distract, it could be shoulders, could be a little pop to the head, could be a little loop choke grip, whatever it is, okay? Low, when you step, as soon as, think about it like this, timing wise, as soon as your foot connects to your partner's thigh, put your hips forward and just fall. Literally, same time. So instead of making it two moves now, let's make it one move, okay? You guys are gonna play one, pull. That's all it is, okay? If the arms get pinned in there, that's cool. You'll just put your hands on the mat, no problem. Okay, if one arm gets pinned in there, life is good. Okay, let's go. You guys understand what I'm talking about? Okay, go, please. That as soon as you fall, as you start here, you just gotta, you gotta stop it. You gotta Okay, and here for me, it's like, how you can just kind of turn my leg to that angle. I don't stay like high here, so I'm late on my butt. It's kind of, 
turn my body a little bit. So the difference now if you push me. More, it's all, yeah, you can still do it, but it's going to be yeah, easier for you to adjust. Yeah, you can just turn around. Yeah, to, um, can start to, start to post my hands more. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. You guys understand? Really super easy. Really almost like too stupid. Okay. So like everything else, sometimes when something's too stupid, like too good to be true, it probably is, right? So what we're going to start to talk about is this idea of the reactions that this person's gonna make on the bottom, okay? One of the most common things that will happen when you go to do this is you won't get to the mouth. This leg or whatever the opposite side is of, of that you're blocking here, okay, will naturally come up, okay? People will kinda, of, they'll try to make a hook, they'll try to push you, or you'll relax your position, or this leg will just simply be high here, okay? Is anyone experiencing that where this leg is sort of getting in your way and therefore you're like having a hard time going to the mouth, okay? That's true, that's gonna happen a lot, all right? So what I, my aim for today, even though we don't have much time, is just to simply show you guys the concept, which we've basically done, and now to show you a couple ways that we can pass when we get reaction, okay? Easiest thing, for me at least, is either to just go around whatever's in my way, which is usually like a back step or something, or to just kill the hips, okay? And that's what we're gonna do first, really easy, all right? So this isn't, I don't aim to show you guys really how to pass the guard during this class. If some of these passes aren't familiar to you, I'm happy to, Show you, show you the details or whatever you need, okay? And likewise, because I only have whatever, 30 minutes, 35 minutes left, and I know I'm talking through most of it, okay? Because that's kind of how I roll. Um, if you need to want to go over any of this afterward or during the week, just please grab me. I'm happy to, you know, spend as much time with you as you want, okay? Anyway, so I digress. We're here. One, okay, bug the neck a little bit. Sometimes that'll happen first. Sometimes I step first and I make the guy follow me a little bit, like Chris was saying, like the tracking thing. That's excellent phone here. And I just play, and then when I see that leg, you know, I just play. Okay, all right, let's uh, actually just turn a little bit more. Sorry, perfect, okay, go that way, perfect, okay. So I pin stepping down, but this leg is now up, okay. We have a few ways we can go with this, but the first thing we're gonna do, guys, is once this leg sort of comes in our way, we're just gonna go underneath it, all right. So pay attention to the opposite side leg now. I'm just gonna kind of start to weave this leg underneath, get lower as I do it, and just simply kill my partner's hips, okay. Really, really simple pass. The leg we pass, it's a pretty popular pass. Most of you guys probably know, all right. Couple details that will help here is stay kind of connected to the hip here. Don't go too high, like so. Meaning I'm not looking for like an underhook, for example, up here. I'm too far off of my partner's hips. I'm just staying low here. And if when I land here, I feel like I'm too far away from them, I'll just use the active toes here to kind of push back in and get my weight centered over the hips. Okay, you guys, cool so far. All right, beautiful. All right, now we're just going to aim to do the same thing. Can you guys see this top leg that I just weaved through? All we're going to do is we're just going to kind of lever that back. So I use my hands on the mat. I'm just going to slide this leg back, I'm going to lever it back, so that's going to create a lot of space now for that top knee to come in, okay? You can always try to get an underhook or something. I'm not really, again, concerned about the mechanics right now for, for these little things. I just want you guys to get to the mount. But if you want underhooks, take them. And now you're just going to simply step over, okay? So he's going to bring the leg up, and you guys are going to kill the hips. Let's turn our, turn our body a little bit, please, okay? So we're here. He stood up. Ah, I dug your neck. One. I went to, to go forward, but oh man, his leg was there. You're going to know that right away. As soon as, like, it's almost like a seesaw. You guys know what I'm talking about? Like one kick goes down, the other one goes up. Okay? So I pushed one side down, the other side came up. No problem. I lower, and then I kill the hip right here. Okay? Stabilize on the hip here, cross face, whatever you want to do, but I like to stay low. Weave this down. So now you have, you've, you've essentially created a little bit of a space here for this knee just to enter in. Okay? You guys notice how my angle of my hip changes slightly here? And now I just slide to the mouth, okay? I can get up high, great. If I can win an underhook or two on the way up, even better. Okay, so we're ready to go. Okay, one more time, please. Okay, so one, a little faster, I bug, the leg comes up, I just drop it to the floor, connect to the hip. Now I'm over one, two, okay? Just one variation, we'll go over a few things from there if that's too fancy for you, too many steps. I got an easier one after, okay? Good? Let's start with that, please, go. Grabbing my knee down, and now look at all the space that you create. Bring that knee in up. Bring that knee in, top, top knee in up. So lever down, yes, now step in with your knee. Right in, boom. Yeah. It's just good for me, it's just, I'm little, so. Anything I can do to like hug, stay on people's hips, because I have a hard time holding people. Yeah. There's, uh, Thank 
But just a couple things to think about here, right? What's the, the end goal? The end goal is really here to make myself, when I'm on top, what? As small as possible, right? Like we think about jujitsu in terms of these, these sort of more broad things, right? If I'm on top and I'm trying to take away space, right? And if I'm on the bottom, I'm trying to most of the time escape, I'm trying to create space, okay? So to that end, if I'm here and I step and his leg comes up and, I, and I'm really high here relative to where he is, and I'm trying to kind of close all this space off here like this, exactly, there's a lot of freedom of movement for the person on the bottom to start to frame or or push, okay? So what I want you guys to think about is as soon as you feel your partner's leg or see your partner's leg coming up, that you're getting as small as you can and you're, you're literally just kind of smushing the hip, okay? Think about it as a sprawl, essentially, right? You're wrestling, so here, one, two. Kill the hip, just kill it right away. The lower that you are, the easier that, that sprawl is gonna be, okay? Now everything else from here can be sort of adjusted, right? The hip is momentarily pinned. I'm not saying that Stefan can't you know, push me away and make space here. He can, for sure, okay? But I'm gonna use my toes. I'm gonna stay heavy here and low. Maybe I start to work this. I start to work the underhooks, whatever it is. I just kind of relax here for a second, okay? And just get heavy on his hips, stay low. And now I take my time, okay? The detail from here, guys, that I really want you guys to observe, and this is actually something that Nate Adamson actually taught at a camp a couple years ago. And I don't know if he changed the way that I do, that he knows that he changed the way I do this pass, okay? So. Thanks, Nate. Okay. But this was a detail from a class that he took that he taught, right? And it was I used to just do this pass and just try to wedge my knee in there. But this little detail about sliding this leg, like this little lever here down the mat, is really, really good. Okay? Because what it does essentially, like I said, is it opens up more space here for this knee to enter in. Okay. And you're nice and low here. So you have the luxury of being able to just kind of push against your partner, against the gravity there to make space. And now my knee can come in and again, stay. Do, don't rush to the mountain, guys. They take your time. Right. Well, work your underhooks. Do whatever you're gonna do. Stay heavy. Really get good control there as you mount. Okay. For the the peeps that compete, this is an excellent transition because I get a whole a whole boatload of points. Right. I pass and I'm right to the mountain. So one more time. Okay. Stay low, nice and low as you do it, guys. Just a couple things to think about here. Low and just sprawl right on the hips and kill them. Okay. Driving active toes off of that foot, and now I'm in a good spot to start to work here. Work my underhook, take my time, whatever I want to do. Lever, knee, and again, stay really, really tight here. If he tries to bail too much here, cool, maybe he'll give me his back. Life is good, okay? Right, even better. If not, I'm just going to work my way to the mount. Just kind of climb right up nice and slow. Nice high mount, maybe I'm under the arms, even better, okay? You guys good, everyone? Feeling? Feeling the love? All right, let's go. Get a partner, please. Let's do it. I know. Hold on one second. Get, get the knee closer. It's like, yeah, like, so when you bring this in, like, change your angle, your hip down. Yeah, now slide over. Because now the escape on that side is going to be much tougher when you mount. Slide right up now. Get all the space out of it. Okay. Yeah. Good mount. So when you're here, okay? So I would say get a little lower with this. So I wouldn't necessarily shoot for another I would, I would work more of like hit, 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 And then here, all you're going to do is, yeah, once that knee goes in the thing, you Cool. Pull this down more until you, yeah, and now just slide this knee right into, the, into that. So you know, yeah, and your hip is a little bit more forward. And now you can cross face, you can underhook go, and your mouth's going to be really nice now. It's going to give you the arm, it's probably going to be Especially if you're going to give you the arm. Everything for me now is about, this kind of seesawing idea, right? So weight distribution. So if I'm if I'm pulling on one side, chances are the other side. Just something to think about. That I do 90% of the time, okay? And 60% of the time, this works 90% of the time, right? So when I step and that leg comes up, for me, I usually just I like to long step. I'm kind of a tall guy, so for me, this is sort of like long stepping idea around people's legs is, is really, you know, something that I just feel really comfortable doing. Um, and this, this setup is a perfect way to do that, okay? It honestly doesn't really matter which side you go to, but I think it's a lot easier, to, at least for me, to, to, to usually to drop my hip to the side that I'm hitting, okay? It just means that my partner is gonna be on their side when I do that, okay? So just be cognizant of that. If your partner's turning toward you, obviously, you're gonna have to kind of close that space off, but this, this to me feels more comfortable. You can very well try it on the other side too, but this is, this is gonna be easier, okay? For me at least. So we're here. Everything's the same, and, and, and again, the more you guys do this sort of same movement over and over again to set this up, no matter how you're finishing the pass, it'll get easier, okay? So I'm just boom, one, all right, I'm pinned. 
Maybe the leg's up, maybe it's not. I usually don't wait around to find out, honestly. I just stay low, and all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna turn my hip and step on the floor, okay? And this is where we're gonna end up. Obviously, I'm, I'm sort of doing it slow motion. But here, now, your, your sort of mission is to close this face off. He's gonna be turning towards you and maybe trying to frame, and I'm not gonna obviously sit up here when I do it. I'm gonna get low and move my hip out, and now I'm in a good position to monitor the legs, right? If we had a knee on, maybe it's a grip, okay? And, and it's also a nice way when you land here, if you're a leg lock person, a person's already going to be up on their side. You got all your entanglements here too. Okay, you get your, your honey hole, all that stuff. So we're here. All right. So it's one. And low. Just switch your hips. Okay. Now, if you want to fall back and got the legs, cool. Or you want to push the leg in from the side control. Three. Okay. It's literally that easy. I wish I could make it more complicated for you guys, but I can't. Okay. So one, two. Okay. It doesn't look super nice, okay? You're not gonna get style points usually for this one, but it lands you at least past the line of your partner's legs, and now you can move in, or move out, or pull, or whatever you want to do, okay? You guys cool? I know I'm rushing a little bit, but it's only because I want to show you guys the market, all right? One more time, okay. okay? So everything's the same, exactly the same. All you're doing is a little bugging of the neck here, a little step. Okay, I'm low here, so it doesn't matter where his leg is because this is the space that I'm going to enter into. Okay, and as I fall, this hip is just going to go to the floor, and I'm just going to take a step. Okay, so when I switch, I just push my foot, now I have base, and I'm here. Okay, it doesn't really from here, you'll feel it's good for you. Legs, for me, it's usually side control. Okay. I do, I like to post my foot. Well, my, my, Right leg is going to be close to him, but my left foot is going to be close. Yes, but you, you uh, step down on the mat and you don't like push it on uh, in this leg to turn around. I'll, I'll come over there, you'll show me what you mean. Okay. Go, please. Just go here? Yep. And you roll down to right. Yeah, at that point, absolutely. Now I understand you the question. You don't try to hurt him? No, you can take it off. You can stay here. I don't need to, and that's not going to get me close to this hip. Yeah. Okay, so when we're here, boom, just once. And as soon as I'm past this hip switch, now I just like it. Now I don't do this. Like, the only thing is like, you're going to do my best. You're going to hug the head if you want to just close to my head. Yeah. And moving around this. Okay, so you can get it like an underhook. That's yeah. slightly good every time. Yeah. Yeah. This one? Close to the head, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I get yeah. 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 I'm trying to slide that guys time please come back in all right because a couple people have some questions maybe less is more let me let me go through this once more we'll add some detail to it we don't get to like a couple of the other things so again there's a million ways to to kind of finish this thing, right? Obviously, if, if I have the ability when I step over and I can get like, you know, kind of under the under the neck here with the cross face, that's great. You know, if you have a gi, maybe that lapel control is gonna be really good there, okay? But for now, especially if you're sort of newer to this kind of mechanic, this kind of movement, then don't worry about any of that, okay? All you're gonna do, all right, here once you pin and you find that this leg is sort of in your way, is gonna, gonna go around it, okay? So we're gonna lower our level and just put our hand on the mat, okay? A couple of people asked this question and, and I apologize for not mentioning it before. There's no reason for me to keep my foot pinned to my partner's leg now, okay? So this is only to pin the hip long enough that when I put my hand on the mat, okay? You guys see how now my leg doesn't have to be on my partner anymore. In fact, it's better on the ground because wh what's my goal here to get where? This is the audience participation part. Into the hip. <laughs> yeah, to get past that line of my partner's legs, right? To get, to get past the hip, okay? So keeping this leg here doesn't really serve me that well when I go to switch my hip because I'm kind of playing catch up, okay? So I want to go literally onto the mat. So once you guys are here, all we're going to do is just post our hand down. Again, you can go for a cross face. You can, I see some people putting their hand on that side. Not bad. Just sets up different pathways, okay? But for now, easy way. Just put your hand on the mat. Keep a little bend in your elbow, okay? And now just let your leg, and let your foot rather go. Just put your knee on the mat and just post your foot on the ground, okay? So it's literally this movement right here. You guys are just, okay? That's all we're doing, we're just switching our hips. All right, once more. So again, hand to the mat, stay low and just back step, don't worry about keeping your foot on your partner anymore. 
One, two, three. Okay? Again, from here, you're a little more advanced guy, you want to entangle legs, you want to do any of that stuff, good. You want to, if you can fish for a cross face or a gi grip or something here, or feet a lapel, that's awesome, okay? <laughs> but for me, I usually just push the legs away and like kind of just switch my partner here. All right, and then I see what, what their, their reaction is going to be. If you try this to turn in, maybe it's a Kimura, or maybe it's a mount, right? Or maybe it's a triangle for me, because I like triangles, okay? Does that make sense, guys? A little, little clearer now? Okay, please, let's go like, just a couple more minutes on that one. Try to get in two more if we can, if not one more, okay? And again, if it's too much, pick one thing and then I'm happy to work with you guys more this week. Sorry. Yeah, so, so hold on, so get, so post the hand more, and lower, and then drop your hip first. Turn your hip. I'm sorry. Now kick your leg out. Yeah. Now, you're, now you have a, a, a counter pressure on the bottom, and you can clear your leg. If you're trying to lift your leg when she's elevating you, you're going to get sweat. Yeah. You guys cool? Make sense? Yep. Yep. Alright. Let me show you guys one more. This is something I've been kind of messing with a little bit lately. For, for, for peeps that like, like, like knee cut style passing more. Okay. Um, this one can work pretty well. I also like this because as I'm like stepping on him and killing his hips, I'm actually going to push his shoulders back to the floor. It's actually pretty easy. So, again, all this starts the same way. You guys will just practice the timing on this. I'm pretty good now with just moving a little bit and like boom, just stepping on people fast. Okay. It's not the kind of thing, unless you really just want a reaction, that you want to just kind of like chill here. Okay, sometimes I will do that just to kind of see what the guy gives me. Maybe I can fall back for a leg or something. But all we're going to do now is the same thing. Stay nice and low and you guys step. Okay, now all you're going to do as soon as you pin your partner's hip to the floor and their leg to the floor, you're just going to take both hands and, and just push the shoulders. Okay, so it's one. Okay, maybe it's a little bug. You step, you push the shoulders. Okay, you guys see where we are now? All right, now great. Now if the leg stays up like that, not the end of the world, okay? We can go back and do the one that we just did, okay? If the leg isn't that high though, which a lot of times when you push, it won't be, okay? All you guys are gonna do is literally just take this and step over, okay? So it's hard to do it slow, but it's literally just take your post from the other side. All right, so my left foot is just gonna step across into this space over here. You guys can go right to knee on belly, which is what I like to do usually, or you can just slide into side control. Okay, so one more time, turn please. I apologize, I wasn't doing each time. Okay, here, step. Okay, now don't wait because now it's going to be hard. He's kind of in his base here, he's going to reach for my leg or something, which may be good for a little choke or rolling. Okay, but it's going to be the same moment. So as soon as my foot goes to the thigh, the guy him to the mat. Okay, I want shoulders pinning him flat. You guys see how most of my weight now is still on him, but a lot of it is on his shoulders. Okay. Now I'm ready to go. Okay, when I feel ready, all I do is just lean my leg on it, keep it in and put my knee on it, okay? Do it nice right now, don't you? Don't you dick your partner, okay? <laughs> you definitely could be if you really want to come out harder than me. But I just play here and then I see what he gives me, okay? Make sense? Okay. Let's do that one and then we have time. I have one more thing I want to share with you guys, okay? <laughs> Wherever you want, there's no wrong answer. Just, you want to just get past these legs. Okay? It doesn't have to like, super, look super pretty. And then the last one. Yeah, but look, don't go that way. Hold on, come back. Once you just pin, just lift your foot up and put it on the other side. Let's do it one more time. Start from here. Yeah, lift your foot up. No, don't go behind him. Go right across his chest. Hold on, look at me. You do. Boom, <laughs> one. Okay. Obviously, I'm going to keep my hands on it. A lot easier, yeah. I mean, you can go behind him, but I don't want to go. I'm taking a step backwards. I don't want to There you go, yeah. Do you use uh, the North Coast choke from the uh, Eagle Ready to the North Coast? Yeah, we know that's a whole bunch of other things. Yeah. Ways you can go there from here. Okay, lots of ways you can go. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah we'll discuss that later. Yeah. But from the first one, we All right, look. The reason that I want to post on the shoulders and flatten him back out, okay, or her back out, is because when I'm doing that, now I have the ability to lift this leg and I have base on three points, okay? So I see some of you guys doing it, I'm not saying that you can do, you know, again, there's a million variations on, on everything in Jiu-Jitsu, that's what's cool about it, right? But here, 
I mean, I could literally just like step over him, I mean, without getting him down, but I'm balancing on my one leg, okay? It's like Karate Kid. OG Karate Kid, you guys know what I'm talking about? It's, just, it's the secret of Mi Miyagi Family Karate, okay? So we're here. When I step and he's flat now, okay, you guys see, look, pretty stable here, right? I have like three points of connection with my arm <coughs> and with my leg. And now, literally, now that gives me the ability, even if I'm not very athletic, or which I'm not, or very fast, to just simply step my leg over, okay? Hard to do it slow, depends on where he is, but here it's literally just boom, okay? He's still pinned, all my weight is on him. I would move your arms if it were me, but you don't have to, okay? And now I'm here, or I'll just come down into side control, whatever you guys want to do, okay? But it's literally just that sort of pushing him to the floor that allows me to move my leg without really worrying too much, okay? Make sense? Okay. How are we doing for time? Not very well, huh? Okay. All right. So I have a lot more stuff from here, and but why don't we just review? And then, like I said, I'm more than happy this week. Um, come and find me if you like this kind of thing. I'm, I'm happy to, or if you do a similar passing and you do different things, please come find me. This is again for me. This is like the whole thing with these camps, other than like going on a pub crawl. And meeting all you guys and, and hanging out and having fun. The jujitsu part of this for me is, is seeing if people have like similar things to me or another black belt. It's like, yeah, I do that, but I do it like this. And I'm like, oh, that's awesome. Now I have a little thing that I can add to. Okay. So we started here, all right? And again, just think about this idea that you know you can just do this from here, like, okay? And a lot of times, at the very least, you'll get a reaction, right? So even if you don't like to pass like this, if you do this enough times to people, they kind of get a little fearful of you stepping on them. And it's like a really kind of happy, like sort of byproduct of that is that they mess with you and then maybe you can just go around their guard or do something fancy, okay? But if you are stepping on them, it's just a little stutter step for me, so the weight is sort of off of this foot now and it's easy to pin, okay? And that happens pretty fast. And remember what I was talking about, our, our weight is always low, okay? So boom, now I'm low, okay? If that leg doesn't come up or I don't encounter resistance, it's usually just as soon as my foot touches my partner, then I just put my knees on the mat, okay? It's really that easy. I have a whole series here for when you're light on this side and the partner grabs your leg and it's a half guard thing. I'm happy to share that with you guys later, okay? So that was the first thing we talked about, just the actual pin position. It's usually boom, set up with some kind of a neck control. Could be a loop choke, could be faking a guillotine, could be push, a little push just to get him to react and boom, okay? And I do this very dynamic, it's fast when I do it, okay? As you're getting better at it, you'll just be able to like go right to it and you won't really even think about it and you'll end up where you wanna be, okay? If this leg comes up though, now we have a little bit more of an issue to troubleshoot. I can't just go right to the mount, okay? Or maybe I can, but it's gonna be a little more difficult. Maybe I'll get kicked forward or something. Or my pills will get, you know, be a little bit under scrutiny there, okay? So here, all you guys are gonna do, the first thing we talked about is just simply kind of go underneath the, the space here. Lower, kill your partner's hip. Make sure you have a good post, active toes. You're nice and low on the hip. Walk in, lever to make space, okay? And then it's either a cross face, maybe it's an underhook, it's it's whatever you guys want to do. And now we're in the middle. Okay? Good transition for scoring points. If that's your thing, okay? So from there, right, we talked about simply backstepping it, which for me is what I do most of the time. If that comes up, I usually just put my hand down, it could be a cross face, it could be a post, it could be a gee grip, and I just switch my hip, okay? At that point, remember. We're taking the weight off of that leg, so we're, we're past the line of our partner's hips. That's the sort of key key thing to kind of take away there, okay? And then it's either maybe leg locks, maybe it's mount, maybe someone was doing a nice head and arm choke over here. I'm sorry, a nice, uh, what do you call it, the control choke, all right, off of that, which is really good. A whole bunch of stuff. You guys can kind of add your, add your flavor to the soup, right? I'm just making broth here. You guys got to spice it up, okay? And then last but not least, we talked about this kind of shoulder ride. We're just pinning, right? That's all it is. Just put your partner on the mat. Now all the weight's on them and just step over them, okay? I'm sure there's other ways you can go there too, but that's it, just weight is on three points. Now it's easy to move my leg. I look graceful, okay? I didn't throw a lot of humor in this class, so now I'm trying really hard here at the end, okay? <laughs> Sorry, been a long day, okay? Stick around for the, uh, the seven o'clock show. Maybe it'll be fine, all right? Thank you guys, I'm gonna stop there just to give Kenny like a couple minutes, all right, and give you guys water, all right? Um, thank you so much for letting me teach. Can we do I know everyone's like making you guys take pictures, but it's kind of cool to get to teach in front of this many people. So can we do like a quick picture if you guys mind? All right, thank you.